Welcome to Up Close and Personal. Here the hostess is Dr. Nandini Mauli of the Capital Forum. Just like last week, she will fill us in with the upcoming concert of Sudha Raghunathan. Let's see. Good morning and namaste. Welcome to another edition of Up Close and Personal, where we discuss the key events happening in the tri-state area, as well as the accomplishments of all the established artists, doctors, uh, and other professionals. Today, I'm going to discuss a key event happening in the uh, Maryland area. On May 18th, we are hosting a fusion concert, Morning Raga. It's going to be performed by my friend as well as a leading artist from Chennai, Padma Shri Sudha Raghunathan and en en Ensemble. Sudha is a very well-known Carnatic music singer and this particular event is very unique in that she has combined the classical southern music, Carnatic music, along with six instrumentalists. These are guitar, bass guitar, mridangam, and um, also different types of keyboard um, instruments. One would think that Sudha could sing only the classical raga and the typical Carnatic music, but you have to come to this particular event and enjoy how southern music can be blended so beautifully, melodically as well as rhythmically to give out scintillating music. So you must put it on your calendar May 18th, Morning Raga to be performed at the Deckel Bomb Concert Theatre in the University of Maryland, Clary Smith Performing Arts Centre. To know more about this concert and the organizations behind it, I have invited Professor Sundaraman to the studios so we could uh, really get into the background of what is it about, what is the purpose of this event and so on. Won't you join me? S Mr. Sundaraman, very happy to have you in the studios. Yeah, thank you for inviting me. It's um, definitely going to be a um, rare event. So could you tell me a little bit about how you started this um, concept as well as who are all behind it in supporting you? Uh, there are a number of organizations, I am very pleased to say, who, who, who agreed to support are supporting. Mm -hmm. Some of them, the three of them are leading music schools. One of them is a leading weather school. Mm -hmm. One of them is a leading social service organization. One of them, most importantly, is a temple itself, the Sri Bhaktanjaneya temple. Very nice. With all their cooperations, we think that this program will be quite successful, as successful as in the other places like San Diego, San Jose and New York. Excellent. I have heard quite a lot about this program, um, Mr. Sundar Raman. It looks like it was um, featured in a movie and from there this concept came about. So I can't wait to uh, listen to it myself. Uh, now tell me a little bit about um, where is the money going to go to uh, from the fundraising? The net profit from the concerts, mm -hmm. not only here, mm -hmm. in other places also, will go to charitable institutions mm -hmm. in India as well as in USA. In India, orphanages mm -hmm. and helping the Adivasis in uh, northeastern India and helping the Kashmiri Pandits who are displaced in various places in India. Excellent, excellent, very good. And you have um, a way to connect with those um, benefactors. How is the money going to be uh, dispersed? Yeah, we already know some of the non-governmental organizations, well recognized by the public as well as by the government. Mm -hmm. They are already in the field. Mm -hmm. So we will channel the money through the Reserve Bank approved uh, institutions to these field offices. Mm -hmm. I am pretty sure that every cent that the audience here and elsewhere have given will go to the causes that I have mentioned. Beautiful, awesome. That is a very uh, important point to make, you know. Um, you can be assured that your contributions, monetary con contributions will be taken care of and we will make sure that the benefactors get the money 100% and certainly, so on. Certainly. 
Now, um, where can they get information if anyone wants to contribute? Uh, in the immediate future, uh, they can send their contributions to, to me or to any one of the people listed uh, mm -hmm. in this uh, flyer. We, okay. mm -hmm. uh, and tell them for what purpose they are, have sent their mm -hmm. donation. Mm -hmm. And we will see to it their donation reaches the right end. Okay. And in terms of the concert uh, information itself, where can someone get tickets and the directions and things like that? Uh, one is to contact the box office of uh, the University of Maryland Concert Hall. The number is 301-405-2787. And for online purchase, please visit Clarice Smith Center dot umd dot edu yes you heard um, professor sundar raman the whole uh, background mentioning the whole background and uh, we certainly want your presence there please pass on the information to your friends to your um, family networks and and uh, social circle this is once again a concept and a very um, worthwhile cause that uh, we would like you to be part of and uh, please don't miss out on this opportunity and uh, do come and um, attend the concert and enjoy the evening. It's once again going to be on May 18th at the Deckelbaum Performing Arts Center in the University of Maryland and um, the information would be available at the www.clarismithcenter.umd.edu. Thank you so much for joining us at this edition of Up Close and Personal. I also want to um, acknowledge Mr. Sundaraman being here and being able to explain the background once again. And with that, we'll look forward to seeing you again next week, same time, same channel. Until then, so long and have a wonderful afternoon. Namaste everyone. I'm Nandini Mauli, uh, signing in from the GTV studios for the up close and personal show where we showcase the talents of local artists and visiting artists. And today I'm extremely delighted to bring to you the one and only Padma Shri, Mrs. Sudha Raghunathan, who has been leading and reigning the Carnatic music world for the past 20 some years. She's a very, very um, great devotee of many gurus and her own guru, Mrs. Dr. Vasanta Kumari and has hailed all kinds of wonderful heritage, music, Pani and so on. So today I'm very happy to interview her about a very beautiful and um, a breakthrough initiative, I would say, that she has uh, launched along with Mr. V. V. Sundaram of Cleveland Aradhana Committee. I'm going to uh, introduce the concept uh, of Up Close and Personal show with um, Sudha describing what her program is going to be. We're going to be doing this um, huge fundraising mega concert on May 18th in the Deckelbaum Theater at the Clarice Performing Arts Center, University of Maryland. And Sudha would be the leading artist. And Sudha, very, very happy to be uh, um, with you today and I am delighted that uh, you could join and answer some questions related to your new initiative, Morning Ragam. First of all, how did this uh, come about as a concept, Sudha? Hi Nandini and uh, hi viewers. Uh, Morning Raga is a movie by itself. It's the title of a movie and it was made uh, with the intention of showcasing Carnatic music. Shabana Azmi was the lead artist who took on the role of a Carnatic music singer. And you know the story is about how she's a singer, how she aspires to become a big singer, you know, a, a lead singer, and then suddenly she gets into an accident where she loses her family, and then she, her desire to uh, become the artist, you know, that flame goes out in her, and the story is about how her son comes back, and then he has a fusion band, a jazz band, and then he inspires her and motivates her to come back to stage. And then they have this uh, last climax scene where 
Shabana sings uh, Taye Yashoda with um, the band, with the guitar, bass guitar, lead guitar, and the drums, and the violin, which is truly a captivating uh, song, in my opinion. It's captured the hearts of a lot of the younger generation of those children who uh, would never step into a Carnatic music concert. Somehow they get hooked onto it once they listen to it. And probably we try to capitalize on this to take Carnatic music beyond uh, the usual audience who listens to a, a, a formal traditional Carnatic music concert. So what this uh, morning raga is all about is that uh, I would like to tell you about Amit Heri. Uh, he's the acoustic guitarist, he's the lead guitarist, and he was the music director who arranged the music, you know, the format of it in the film Morning Raga. So he's going to be the lead guitarist, and then we have Keith Peters, who's on the bass guitar, and then Arun Kumar, who's on the drums, uh, Thiruvarur Vaidyanathan on the Murdankam, B.V. Raghavendra Rao on the violin, um, and then we have Guru Prasad on the guttam, and of course I will be doing the Carnatic uh, vocal solos. So it's something to look forward to because um, we haven't done m many of these programs. In India we have done about half a dozen and we had overwhelming response for it from those who are into Carnatic music and those who are outside the realm of uh, Carnatic world. So I hope to uh, reach out to more people than just the avid listeners because it's a very new sound where Carnatic music in all its glory, uh, there's an amalgamation of that and the jazz music, and we have uh, original compositions plus traditional compositions like Dikshitar's Mahaganapatim, uh, Taye Shoda, Mate, the Daru Varnam of Sri Mutiya Bhagavadar. Um, I wouldn't tell you more because I'd like the other pieces to be a suspense, and uh, I think you should come to the concert and experience this uh, very rare uh, uh, togetherness. And I should. I owe a very, very big thanks to Mr. Sundaram of the Cleveland Aradhana Committee uh, that he has such a large heart is, is, um, is quite apparent and everyone knows that. But then to take on a concert as this, because it's, it's quite demanding uh, both group-wise and you know, kind of getting it on stage in different cities. It's a Herculean task, yet his his heart is so large that you know the, he discussed with the other committee members and they have agreed to host this concert in a few cities in North America. Good morning and namaskaram to all of you. Morning Raga is a very exciting program. Number one, it is Carnatic music based. That got us very excited. And as Srimadhi Sudharagunathan said, it's going to have a wider appeal. Yes, we do have the connoisseurs who come over for our core classical concerts. But at the same time, there's an urgent need to draw in a lot more people into this, into the fold of classical music. Morning Raga is such a program that it has got sufficient elements of Carnatic music, classical music in it. And at the same time, it has got enough of an appeal for the people who are not normally initiated into this art form. In that sense, it's... Uh, an attempt to draw in a lot more people to come into the program and that's what got us really excited about the whole thing. Plus, we know about the virtuosity of Srimadhi Sudharagunathan and any initiative she takes, we know, will have a solid classical foundation based on that only the, the program would be built. With that confidence in her ability and in her virtuosity, we decided that this is the program that the Cleveland Tyagaraja Festival should associate itself and we are very, very proud to be associated with that one. It's going to be featured in at least about seven, eight cities in North America. We are hoping there will be at least 10 cities. Two more are under negotiation, talking to the people. But the Washington DC one is a flagship operation or a concert for us. Uh, three different organizations are coming together. The whole purpose of the program is to bring in as many people as people, as diverse as possible. And I think that this attempt is going to fulfill that aspiration. I wish the organizers the very best, and I'm personally indebted to Srimadhi Sudharagunathan for having confidence in us to work with us in promoting this program in North America. Thank you. Thank you so much, Sudha, and uh, BBSG for the background. It is so uh, exciting to hear that uh, such a beautiful 
effort has been um, conceived and brought to the North American audience. So we are truly blessed to be able to see that for the first time in the tri-state, Washington, D.C., Virginia, and Maryland area, and um, looking forward to that. We are also going to be uh, able to channel this through several organizations' websites. As Mr. Rivius mentioned that um, organizations, three organizations came together. They are Hindu American Community Service Incorporation, HACSI, GSS Group, Anansveda Group, and Sri Kanchi Kamakoti Group. We are very um, delighted that they could join us and contribute their resources towards this worthy cause, promoting Carnatic music in a different realm, so to speak. And once again, we are elated that this is coming to our area, neck of the woods, very soon. And once again, thank you, Sudha. Thank you. Thank you, thank VVSG, you. for being thank part you. of this. This is Nandini Mauli, once again, signing off from Up Close and Personal Show from the GTV Studios. Thank you. Good afternoon. Mm -hmm.